Hi, Dominic Monticelli here, very proud principal of Minerva Deland, here with Jada Crocker. Hi. And Jackson Rucker. Hello. I uh, wanted to share a, a quick overview with you about some of the work we're doing here uh, culturally. Um, these two are some of our, our, our leaders in the building, and we put together a student leadership team in the summertime to, you know, to grow our culture, to understand each other, understand one another, and identify with one another. So do you guys want to share a little bit more about the student leadership team and what we're doing and why we're doing it? Jackson, I'll start. Uh, so our student leadership team started in the summer and we really just got together to kind of put heads together and see what's going on in the world and the school and how we could make it a better place. Thank you. Um, a lot of the conversations that we have are about um, accepting and including other cultures and belief systems and um, races and things like that. Well said. In general, we're trying to understand each other better so we can all be better allies for one another, no matter what your uh, race is or religion or whatever uh, whatever your culture is. It's understanding one another. And we're moving in the direction of creating like a logo, an image, and also working on how we're going to take this message and the work we're doing as a group of about 20 people to the larger school. So that's where we're going with it. Uh, we're standing in front of one of our uh, bulletin boards here. You know, uh, this we, we made the bulletin board back in the in the summertime. Really, we're trying to celebrate each other's cultures, uh, a black culture, black history in general, but not just in, in February, but year-round. Uh, we do have to understand that there's going to be other minority students and uh, underrepresented groups coming to a white-based majority school, so they're not going to be, you know, obviously have the same view as they would. So it's good to keep in mind that you have to make uh, this uh, school for uh, as long as they're going to stay as comfortable as possible to have the best experience. And this is one of the ways to uh, go towards that direction. Yeah, well, there's been various activities that the school has been and that I have helped them with, like such as having bulletin boards around that you know hit different topics and that really like express and like detailed information about. Um, just different diverse groups, you know, can range from uh, ethnic groups, uh, black, white, Hispanics, what type of successes they had. And then also we've had uh, planned for each month that had different topics as well, such as Black History Month. We work on, like, talking about current events and, um, like, talking about what's going on in the news today and how we can, like, work on uh, improving like racial equality in our school district in our in our community and also we're right now we're reading a book about how to become activists in our community so that it's gonna really help us out too like it's took taken me a while to like fully see how like working towards racial equality and um, and like dismantling like white supremacy in our society is really important to me after like seeing it on the news with George Floyd. But I re I'm really doing this like because I want to make Fairport a better community and more um, open to all races, genders, and like sexualities. And because I think our school is very like it's. It's a lot of white people, and I think there's a lot we can approve on as a community. Um, so I'm really working to like change that.